Have you ever been in a conversation where someone says something seemingly polite, but you just feel the sting of their words? Perhaps you suddenly or even later feel like, wait, what the f did they just say? In academia, politics, or even just heated conversation, many people have mastered the art of sounding polite while putting you down. In this video, we're going over five politically correct remarks that sting because, well, they might be actually insulting you. As an anthropologist, I can't help but love the nuances of language. I've spent more than a decade in different universities in different parts of the world listening to academics speak to one another. Not to mention going through the peer review processes that's needed to publish work. Personally, I'm pretty blunt most of the time. Probably overly so. If there's one thing that this video aims at uncovering, it's that just because people are polite doesn't necessarily mean that they're being nice to you. That's true in any situation. This isn't exactly intended as an advice type of video, just more some comments that I've heard thrown around that I find kind of funny. Of course, our experiences are not going to be the same. And as Bjorn Ironside on the show Vikings said, perhaps I'll take offense where others may not. If any of these ones jump out at you, make sure to comment below. You've probably heard that kind of argument or defense, if you will, that offense is always taken and never given. But that's not always true. A lot of the time, people mean to give offense and they'll do so in subtle ways that mask their true intentions. Like with this great comment, I see where you're coming from. I've definitely used this one myself. If you're on the receiving end, most likely the person saying it to you was just trying to soften the blow for the rebuttal that's about to come. Really, it's a bit of a disagreement without confrontation. Kind of like a, I, I see where you're coming from, I understand you, however, and then give you some completely different interpretation. Real meaning, I don't agree with you and you're way off. Number two, that's an interesting perspective. This is in a similar vein as the previous one. It sounds supportive, but pretty much is dismissing the idea or comment as naive or impractical. You could probably picture a politician saying something like that and realizing really what they mean is that is never gonna work. Basically, they think your idea is far-fetched and you're full of shit. Number three, let me clarify for you. You might hear that from someone that takes himself to be a bit of an expert and clearly your ignorant ass does not understand. In politics, it's a bit of a power move to make their opponent look like they really have no clue as to what's going on. Really what they're sort of saying is, you clearly don't get this, so let me make it really fucking simple for you. Ironically, maybe this video is a bit like that too, but eh, fuck it. What are you going to do? You're watching. You chose this. Number four, with all due respect. Right, yeah, there's... There's, uh... Fuck all respect about to come from that. Usually, it's a kind of criticism that's coming your way, and they know you're not going to like it. Kind of like, I sort of see where you're coming from with that interesting perspective, and... I'm going to explain to you why you're completely wrong. Number five, my personal favorite. I'm sorry, but I believe you've been misinformed. This is a brilliant one. And if you hear it from here on out, it will never hit the same again. Sure, they're trying to sound considerate, but really they're implying that you've just not done your homework and anything that you might have read is all bullshit. Basically, you don't understand or have the right facts. And really importantly, they're not sorry. What they really mean is they are sorry for you because you should be embarrassed. You should know better. It's a cold one. Look, we all say dumb shit. Sometimes, maybe even a lot of the time. But learning is an ongoing process. Scaring people into submission through threat of ridicule or embarrassment is a weak as fuck tactic. If someone's trying to highlight something you did or said as 
not being quite right or flawed, and they're giving genuinely constructive criticisms, that's all good. That's very different. But if they're merely trying to lord your mistakes over you, kind of power play, as far as I'm concerned, they can get fucked. There's nothing wrong with calling them out and asking what their intentions are. And that doesn't have to be done in an aggressive manner. You could just pull them aside and just say, hey, what did you mean by that? If it's good intentions, I'd just say, cheers, thanks for helping me out with that. It'll become pretty clear if they're just being a dick. I wouldn't waste any more time with them than necessary if they are. If you take a bit of offense and they just start getting at you for it, that's pretty telling, really. It would make a lot more sense to just explain what they actually mean than to pile more shit onto you. Of course, it's worth checking out my video that starts to get into social capital a little bit before you just go burning all your bridges. If you have any examples of similar remarks or situations, then feel free to write it down in the comments. If you found some value in this one, then make sure to check out my other videos and consider subscribing to get the latest ones. Thanks for watching, catch you soon.